Undertale is an RP game made in Roblox around 2016. But some people have an RP. They speed ran the game. And of those few players who have risen to top, this is their story. Or at least mine. Footage right now. This footage was recorded on January 9th, 2021, around 12 p.m. This was the time we started speedrunning. This, well, like, not the time, but it was the day. This was the day we started speedrunning Undertale RP. <laughs> what you're watching is my first ever recorded time for Undertale RP. This run is pretty bad by today's standards, and uh, it, it's okay though. It's, it, it wasn't a world record, but it was a pretty nice time, and uh, note, this was done on a public server. Remember this for later. Right now I'm going to show you the bars of today's speedrun. This is my best time for the ruins right now. Now look at the time I finish it in this run. There we go. A time only rivaled by my trash can. Alright, we're gonna forget everything that happened actually in the run. You can just look at the splits for that. Let's see what this run actually finished with. There we go, a 404, uh, not a world record, but a pretty sick PB. Note, there is one thing to mention about the run. It may look like my splits are perfect, but that's only because before, my time was a 434. kind of most runs look nowadays they kind of look like they kind of look like this still it kind of ends around 45 seconds nowadays but this is one of those old runs the left ruins the red split and that's the only thing notable about ruins the ruins has had a really any new strats but we'll describe those later now this is i'm going to note the biggest skip in the game right now and this is the waterfall skip Here's the skip in full detail. After leaving Snowden and entering Waterfall, there's gonna be a little hole right here, a little waterfall. Once you fall down there, it will teleport you to the, you know, like, trash bin section of this game. Usually you would encounter it later, like, in the actual game, but in this game, in the Roblox version, you can just easily go down that hole and you'll be teleported to the trash bin section. This saves around, uh, 12 to... 30 seconds. This is probably the biggest skip, but sadly it was discovered only at the start, so not very many world so not there's not very many world records for this skip wasn't performed. Remember, this is a, just a fairly modern run. This isn't a world record. But as you can see, it uses the elevator in Hotland, and you have to leave first person mode to click on the right floor 3 text. And then after that, you'll be leaving Hotland, and you can see that you can just leave it, leave Hotland. And you'll see that it's pretty easy. Hotland's a pretty short level, same with the core. New Home also has an elevator, but it only saves like 10 seconds. So 
like it's not very knowable to, it's not very knowable obviously we still use it because we want to save that 10 seconds but let's see how this one is was a pretty good run. I mean, it wasn't the perfect run, but as you can see, it ended off with a 351.0 flat. Now, I don't know if this was world record or not, but it was a pretty good run. It's the, That's basically the standards. But, we're going to be looking at the sum of best segments. A 345. Let's see how badly we destroy this. Our original strategy in the room Jump on the stairs, but we soon found out that was A little while later, we found out that we can actually jump off the dog. Like, enough time to be faster than jumping off the stairs. We found out that you actually have enough jump speed to actually jump off the stairs. Yeah. That may seem obvious, but you know. That is the extent of the ruin shed. Now, we'll go on to another place. We found out that the Snowden trees actually have no collision, so you can walk straight through them. Even though the logs and leaves have absolutely no collision, walk into them and you walk and you'll pass through them. This saves this like about one second or two, so you can actually cut the corner instead of having to walk around it. This shortcut's actually pretty short, but all you need to do is jump over the trash. You know, instead of walking around it, it saves like a couple it saves like five milliseconds. We actually found out that there's actually no invisible walls to block you from falling. This, of course, lets you actually die from falling, but it also lets you jump over them, saving about like five more in about like half a second. Cool. Another strategy is that you can actually just walk through this. You don't actually have to walk around it, you can just walk through it. Um, this saves about like a second or so if you're lucky enough, or if your run before was bad. The world record may have plateaued for now, but that doesn't mean there can't be improvements to be made. The world record is coming down faster than ever, and you should join us on our second channel. I mean, my second channel.